You can't quit your job, Jalil. What about health insurance, benefits, 401k? I need this job so then I can pay for my benefits. You know you're not going to be able to make it in life without benefits. Stop. 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 Tired of hearing it. Because it's just an excuse. There are options for health benefits and 401ks. And I'm about to show you those options on the next episode of Gig Economy Guru. Hello, I'm your host, the Gig Economy Guru, a.k.a. Jalo Adams. And today, I have for y'all exactly what you can do to make sure you have health benefits and to make sure you have a stable 401k. Now, let's get started. If you direct your attention to the board here, there are two different options for health benefits and 401k. First thing I'm going to get into is the health benefits. Stride Health. What is Stride Health exactly? Stride Health is a company specifically made for those who do freelancing or private contracting services and need some health insurance. How Stride Health works is like any other health insurance company works. You go online, you apply, and you're supposed to give a certain amount of information so they can tell you whether you're applicable for a uh, a higher premium or a lower premium. Just to quickly walk you through the steps, first thing you have to do is give up your personal info, you know, like your name, your address, uh, your age, things of that nature, simple stuff. Step two is income. Pretty much you're gonna tell them how much you make. Obviously, as a freelancer, it's hard to really tell people how much money that you're going to be making throughout the year. So if you do know what your income is and how much you make on a monthly basis, then you plug that on on a monthly basis and on an annual basis. If you don't know and you're unsure, Stride Help helps you along the way. So then you can get a better deal on your plan. Number three, additional coverage questions, which includes current health coverage, if you have any, and deductions that you might be able to make such as when it comes to student loans. If you're a millennial like me, you probably have at least one or two student loans that you got to pay off. Stride Health takes this all into consideration when making your plan. Next is the summary. Basically, a summary of all the information that you've given them so that they can calculate exactly how much you're going to pay for your premium plan. Eligibility. With this step, they're pretty much finding out what type of health insurance you're eligible for. Me personally, I'm with Blue Cross Blue Shield. But you can pick among a list of all different types of health insurances depending on your situation. Last step is you're finished. You put into the application and then after a day or so, then they'll get back to you and tell you, oh, well, we've done your application. This is how much you're going to have to pay for health insurance. For me specifically, it calculated $164 a month, which is pretty damn good considering how much health insurance coverage costs these days. In one person's case, he paid $1 a month for health insurance. Seriously, here's a clip to prove it. And it kicked out this amazing figure, which was basically I could get this Kaiser plan that costs like over $850, but because my income uh, was so low, I would pay $1, right? So for two years, I paid $1 a month for an over $850 uh, plan. The money they look at for your income is after all of your deductions. So of course, we have this huge uh, mileage deduction. So when you take that and you knock it off your, your income, it brings the amount down quite a bit. Now with Stride Health, you can also pick your dental plan and your vision plan. My dental and vision came up to about $25.14 a month, which all together is under $200 a month. I'm pretty healthy for the most part, so I don't have to pay too much. Now, I want you guys to hurry up and do this while you still can, because the open enrollment ends December 15th, 2019. That's only in a couple of days, which is why I had to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. We tend to sometimes believe nothing will happen to us due to our youth. But what if something actually does happen to us? How are we going to be covered? God forbid, if you get hit by a car, 
and you go to the hospital and you had to pay for some sort of surgery, you're going to have to pay a couple thousand bucks out of pocket. This is exactly why it's very important to have health insurance. Once again, you guys, the open enrollment ends December 15th. So please jump on that as soon as possible. Now, I've covered the health insurance. Now I'm going to cover the 401k option. For those who are unaware of what a 401k is, a 401k is a savings that's used for retirement in the future. Acorns. Acorns is a phone app. You can download it on Android or iOS. In my opinion, it's the best 401k retirement for freelancers because it only costs $1 a month. Now with this app, you have about 7,000 options of different stocks and bonds that you can invest in. What they do is spread your money through these types of stocks and bonds so that basically you can make the safest plan possible for yourself. Now, if you save the correct way and you work for about 20 to 25 years or so, you will have about 500000 to maybe more than a million dollars or more in your savings account. But you got to save correctly. In my opinion, it's the best retirement and 401k plan for freelancers because it only costs one dollar a month now first thing you must link your bank account so they can collect payments i know a lot of people are skeptical about giving their bank account information out acorn is a very reputable site and it's really no different from giving your bank account information to a nine to five job you can set how much you save in a month me personally i set a hundred dollars a month to save you can also set different rules. One that I use is called the roundup rule. What it does is that it will take the difference from all your transactions and save it up until it reaches a dollar. So say for instance, you spend 50 cents at a store. It will take the additional 50 cents and save it to your account. Once it reaches five, it goes into your investment account. You can choose to put that option or not. It really depends on your situation. You could even save as little as $1 a month if you want to. It's really up to you. One other option that they have is that you can make one-time deposits. Say, for instance, you made a lot more money than you expected to, and you want to put it into some stocks and bonds. Well, you can make a one-time deposit, let's say, of $100, and they will put it in there and it will go towards your 401k savings. Also, another cool incentive about this app is that if you invite four friends to join this app through your code, then they will give you $200 investment. In other words, you invite your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your friends, anybody. Once you invite them and they sign up for Acorn, then Acorn will give you $200 towards your savings. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many times you can do this. I'm going to find out. If anybody's interested, please leave it in the comments and I'll address it immediately. You can sign up for any of these no matter what your situation is, whether you have kids, whether you're 60 years old, no matter what. Also, if somebody unfortunately happens to get laid off, here's your options right here too, folks. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you. Remember, Stride Health and Acorns phone app. In the near future, I'll be releasing more videos in regards to other gig economy apps. My next ones are going to cover apps like Uber, Lyft, Thumbtack, apps such as that nature. I mainly do TaskRabbit, but not everyone is privy to manual labor. What I'm working on here is I'm trying to clear all the doubt in everybody's mind who is interested in working as a private contractor or freelancer. Sometimes the only limits to pure freedom is our mindsets. The gig economy is growing, folks, and the options are there. But I've ranted enough. I hope this information was helpful to somebody. Remember, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments below or you can contact me through jackrabbittasker at gmail.com. My ears are open. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if this information was helpful to you. Have a good week, folks. See you guys next time.